All right, so this is the part two of it. This is the part two. We ran out of memory space. So we're on this Maya tuberculosis marijuana conspiracy, and we're continuing from right here where they're speaking about new cases of pulmonary tuberculosis TB were noted in a cluster, and we left off on cluster, a cluster of young Caucasian males. No, it was a handful. That's a way of saying handful, but a cluster, you know, most folks don't really get it on the outset, you know. They think it's more than what it is. They say a handful. It's an unusual ethnic group for the disease in Queensland, Australia. It was noted that, you see right here, that marijuana um, water pipe, or what's known as the bong smoking, was common among cases and contacts. Now, I remember what we were speaking about, that marijuana is holy, you understand, and the holy sacrament, the strangers are not to partake of. Remember what we're saying about that? We're going to go into a little more detail of it. But now, the objective of this particular study right here was to report um, this cluster of TB and investigate whether shared use of marijuana water pipe was associated with transmission of TB. Now, the design, all contacts were identified and screened according to standard protocol. Cases were asked to list contacts with whom they had shared a marijuana water pipe. So, see, they're trying to say, well, the marijuana water pipe is causing their white kids or a cluster of, of, of white males, you understand, to um, maybe contract tuberculosis. Now, the results was that five cases of open pulmonary TB were identified clinically and no sputum culture. And all... Um, Isolates of, of mycobacterium tuberculosis were identical on typing. Of 149 contacts identified, 114, 77% completed screening, and 57, roughly 50%, had significant um, tuberculin skin tests, had significant tuberculin skin tests, or the TST, reactions on follow up. Of 45 um, contacts, who had shared a what? A marijuana water pipe, a bong, with a case, 29, 64% had significant TST uh, reaction. So if you hear more about the bong and making the bong illegal, you can understand what's a little bit behind, what's a lot behind it. But the conclusion is this, that sharing a marijuana water pipe with a case of pulmonary TB was associated with transmission of TB or 2.22, you understand, 95%, and then the CI uh, 0.96 to 5.17. Although the most important risk factor for acquiring TB infections in this cluster was close household contact with a case. It was close household contact with a case. So really, at the end, the conclusion of it, they basically dispel that it was the marijuana that was the cause of it. But they find that this is something that affects them, or like Caucasians or Europeans, in a different way than it affects other indigenous groups, you know, um, of people around the world, especially Afro-Semitic and other root races, are not affected and have within their culture um, marijuana usage in a spiritual, medicinal way, unlike the majority of um, uh, medieval European cultures where it was introduced amongst them. Just remember this particular portion right here, that up until the 1930s, before there was, was the banning of marijuana, what also happened in the 1930s? the coming of the King of Kings, Haile Selassie, Christ in his kingly character, the rise of Rastafari, the fascist invasion of, of Ethiopia. You understand um, the persecution, revelation, the saints, those dressed in white robes. So actually unfoldment of prophecy is at the heart, at the, at the root and the heart of this particular matter. So this article right here, if you get a chance, you know, check it out, um, tuberculosis, marijuana, and uh, conspiracy. All right? Shalom Rastafari. Stay tuned.